Welcome to Master View Tutorials. Assuming you watched our previous video on how to use Certificate Builder add-on, we are now moving forward to making custom certificates in Master View. Let's look into our blank slate to create it from scratch. Here, you will have to upload a certificate background. You can look online for certificate backgrounds. You can either upload it directly or choose from the video library. Let's change the name of our certificate. This certificate builder is Gutenberg based, so we will use blocks. Click on the plus button and now a block window will appear. Click on browse all. Now you can choose which block you want to add. You can create it to your liking. It's best to use columns to align the blocks. Select the number of columns that you want. You can add a logo into it and upload your logo. You can fix its alignment. You can change the certificate layout as well by clicking on the certificate block. On your right, you can find layout where you can change the background padding, width, size and even page orientation. After this, you can click on the plus button to add another block below this column. Find spacer. Spacer is a block which allows you to create a gap between two blocks as per your need. After this, let's add a column again. Now assuming you are familiar with blocks, simply select columns from here. Select the number of columns that you want. Let's add a heading here in the middle column. Align it to center. Then you can edit your text from block settings. Change your color background. Typography where you can select the size, appearance, layer case, letter spacing and even decorations. Sometimes if your letter spacing is incorrect, then you can change the column width or you can always change your certificate background layout. Let's add a spacer again for some space. Now I'll be adding a paragraph block for some words. Align it to whatever you want, I'll be aligning it to center. Give it some little spacing. Again a spacer for a paragraph. And align it according to your need. Now it's time to add a student's name block. You will get 3 default Master Video Gutenberg blocks which updates automatically. The name block will automatically assign name of student who completes the course. The course name block will fill in the name of whichever course the student had taken. The date of completion block fills in the date of when the student completes the course. You can drag and drop the blocks. Align it to wherever you want. Add spacers and columns to align them properly. You can add paragraph blocks for text. Align it again to your liking. Let's add a spacer again for some space. Here I am adding the course title block and I change its alignment and size. I'm adding spacers again for a completion date and signature area. For a signature, you can add a transparent background PNG here. Finally, to add a line, you can use a separator block. Simply on any column or block, select separator and there appears a line under the block. You can adjust the block by using the spacer and do the same for others as well.
Don't forget to click on publish after you're done building a certificate. You may run into situations where the preview of the certificate doesn't match the output. In that case, you can always change your certificate background layout. You will again have to use spacers to maintain the spacing. And finally, you can check your form if there are any mistakes. And don't forget to update. That's all to create a custom certificate from scratch. Thank you for watching.